Today's agenda, the parable of the prosperous farmer, do not worry, seek the kingdom, the parable of the watchful servants, who is the faithful and watchful servant, Jesus predicted division, the parable of the fig tree, Jesus heals on the Sabbath again, Jesus' critics are humiliated, we're going to find out how he did that. The parable of the mustard seed. If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus escapes capture once more. The parable of the straight gate. Herod will kill you. Jesus heals again on the Sabbath. And the parable of the chief seats in the synagogue. The parable of the prosperous farmer. And he spoke a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do, because I have no room where to bestow my fruits? And he said, Hmm, I know what I'll do. I'll pull down my barns and build bigger barns. And there I will bestow all my fruits and my goods. Then I'll say to myself, you know, you've worked hard, you've laid up for many years, take it easy, have a vacation, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said unto him, You fool, this night your life shall be required of you. Then who shall those things be which you have stored? So is he that lays up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. And he said unto his disciples, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what you will eat, or neither for the body, what you will put on. For the life is more than meat, and the body is more than raiment. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap. They don't have storehouses or barns, and yet God feeds them. How much more are you better than the fowls. And which of you, taking thought, can add one cubit to his stature? If you then are not able to do that thing which is least, why do you worry about the rest? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They don't toil or spin. Yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If then God so clothe the grass, which is today in the field, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O you of little faith? And seek not what you will eat, nor what you shall drink, or neither be you of doubtful mind. For all these things do the nations of the world seek after, and your Father knows you have need of these things but rather seek the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell what you have and give good deeds. Provide yourselves bags which wax not old, a treasure in the heavens that does not fail, where no thief approaches neither does a moth come to corrupt it. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Let your loins be girded about, and your lights burning. And you yourselves be like unto men that wait for their Lord when he shall return from the wedding, that when he comes back and knocks, they may open unto him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he comes, shall find so doing. Truly I say unto you, he shall gird himself and make them to sit down at meat, and will come forth and serve them. And if he shall come in the second watch, or in the third watch, and find them so, blessed are those servants. And know this, that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not suffered his house to be broken through. 
Be you therefore ready also, for the Son of Man comes at an hour when you think not. Then Peter said unto him, Lord, do you speak this parable to us or to everybody? And the Lord said, Who then is that faithful and wise steward, whom his Lord shall make ruler over his household, to give them their portion of meat in due season? Blessed is that servant, whom his Lord, when he comes, shall find so doing. Of the truth I say unto you, that he will make him ruler over everything he has. But and if that servant shall say in his heart, my Lord delays his coming, I'm going to relax and take it easy, and begin to beat the men servants and maidens, and eat and drink and be drunk. The Lord of that servant will come in an hour when he doesn't look for him, and at an hour when he is not aware, and he will cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. And that servant, which knew his Lord's will, and didn't prepare himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. But he that did not know and did commit things worthy of stripes shall only be smitten with a few. For whoever much has been given to, of him shall much be required. And to whom men have committed much, of him they will ask the more. I am come to send fire on earth, and what will I if it is already kindled? But I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how am I straightened until it be accomplished? Do you suppose that I am come to give peace on the earth? I tell you no, but rather division. For from now on there shall be five in one house divided, three against two and two against three. The father shall be divided against the son, and the son against the father, the mother against her daughter, and the daughter against her mother, and the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And he also said to the people, When you see a cloud arise out of the west, straightway you say, Here comes a shower, and so it is. And when you see the south wind blow, you say, There will be heat and it comes to pass. You hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky and of the earth, but how is it that you do not discern this time? Yes, and why even of yourselves judge you not what is right? When you go with your adversary to the magistrate as you are on the way, give diligence that you may be delivered from him, lest he hail you to the judge, and the judge deliver you to the officer, and the officer cast you into prison. I tell you, you will not depart from there until you have paid the very last mite. There were present at that time some who told him of the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their own sacrifices. And Jesus answering said unto them, Do you suppose that these Galileans were sinners above all Galileans because they suffered such things? I tell you, no. But except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. Or those eighteen upon whom the tower in Siloam fell and slew them. Do you think these guys were sinners above all men that dwelt in Jerusalem? I tell you no, but except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. And he spoke also this parable. A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came and sought fruit thereon and found none. Then he said to the dresser of the vineyard, Behold, these three years I have come back here to this fig tree and find no fruit on it. Cut it down. Why does it take up space in the ground? And he answering said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year too, and I will dig about it and put manure on it. And if it bear fruit after that, good. And if it doesn't, then after that we'll cut it down. And he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath, and behold, there was a woman who had a spirit of infirmity eighteen years and because of it she was bowed together and could in no wise straighten herself. 
And when Jesus saw her, he called her over and said unto her, Woman, you are loosed from your infirmity. And he laid hands upon her, and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. The ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation, because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath day, and said unto the people, There are six days in which men ought to work, in them you come and be healed but not on the Sabbath day. The Lord answered him and said, You hypocrite! Does not each one of you on the Sabbath loose his ox or his ass from the stall and lead him away to watering? And ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound these eighteen years, be loose from this bond on the Sabbath day? And when he had said all of these things, His adversaries were ashamed and embarrassed, and all the people rejoiced for all the glorious things that he had done. Then he said, Unto what is the kingdom of God like? And whereunto shall I resemble it? It is like a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and cast into his garden, and it grew and waxed a great tree, and the fowls of the air lodged in the branches of it. Again, he said, How shall I compare the kingdom of God? It is like leaven which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal till the whole was leavened. And it was at Jerusalem, the feast of the dedication of the temple, and it was winter. And Jesus walked in the temple in Solomon's porch, and there came Jews round about him and said unto him, How long do you make us to doubt? If you are the Christ, just say so. Tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you did not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. But you believe not, because you are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone Jesus. And he answered them, Many good works have I showed you from my Father. For which of those works do you stone me? The Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we stone you not, but for blasphemy, because that you, being a man, make yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said you are God's? If he called them gods, unto whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken, how is it you can say of him whom the Father has sanctified and sent into the world, You blaspheme, because I said, I am the Son of God. If I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. But if I do, though you don't believe me, Believe the works, that you may know and believe that the Father is in me, and I in him. Therefore the Jews sought again to take him, but he escaped out of their hand, and he stayed there. And many resorted unto him, and said, John didn't do any miracles, but all things that John spoke of this man were true, and many believed on him there. And he went through the cities and villages, teaching and journeying toward Jerusalem. Then one said unto him, Lord, are there few that be saved? And he said unto them, Strive to enter in at the straight gate. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in, and shall not be able to get in. When once the master of the house has risen up and shut to the door, and you begin to stand outside and knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us. And he shall answer and say unto you, I do not know who you are. 
then you shall begin to say, Well, we have eaten and drunk in your presence, and you have taught in our streets. But he shall say, I tell you, I do not know who you are. Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth when you shall see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and you yourselves thrust out. Then they shall come from the east and from the west and from the north and from the south and shall sit down in the kingdom of God. And behold, there are last which shall be first, and there are first which shall be last. The same day there came out Pharisees, saying unto him, Get out and depart from here, for Herod will kill you. And he said unto them, Go and tell that fox, Behold, I cast out devils, and I do cures today and tomorrow, and the third day I shall be perfected. Nevertheless, I must walk today and tomorrow and the day following, for it cannot be that a prophet perishes outside of Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, which kills the prophets and stones them that are sent unto you, how often would I have gathered your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, but you would not have it. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate, and truly I say unto you, you shall not see me until the time comes when you shall say, Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. And it came to pass, as he went into the house of one of the chief Pharisees to eat bread on the Sabbath, that they watched him carefully. And behold, there was a certain man before him which had the dropsy. And Jesus answering spoke unto the lawyers and Pharisees, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath day? But they held their peace. And he took him and healed him and let him go, and answered them, saying, Which of you shall have an ass or an oxen fallen into a pit, and shall not straightway pull him out on the Sabbath day? And they could not answer him again to these things. And he put forth another parable to them which were bidden, when he marked out how they chose out the chief seats, saying unto them, When you are invited by any man to a wedding, do not sit down at the highest seat, lest a man that's more honorable than you also be invited. And then he will come to you and him, and say, Give this man your place. And you began to be with shame to take the lowest seat. But when you are invited, go and sit down in the lowest seat, that he that invited you may say unto you, Friend, go up higher. Then you shall have worship in the presence of them that sit at meat with you. For whoever exalts himself shall be abased, and he that humbles himself shall be exalted. Then he said also unto him that invited him, When you make a dinner or a supper, call not your friends, nor your brothers, neither your kinsmen, nor your rich neighbors, lest they also bid you again, and a recompense be made you. But when you make a feast, call the poor, the maimed, the lame, and the blind, and you shall be blessed, for they cannot recompense you, for you shall be recompensed at the resurrection of the just.